Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back. So in today's video, I wanted to give you guys my experiences with Helium Mobile. Now, uh, first, some disclosures for you guys. First of all, I am not a crypto channel. I know most crypto channels that talk about cryptocurrency and things like that give you tips and stuff. Cover Helium Mobile. I'm coming in from the other end of the stick. I talk basically about mobile tech. That's my forte, so uh, keep that in mind. Also, um, this is going to be a lengthy video, so if you want to grab something real quick while you're going to watch, go ahead. Um, I would just appreciate if you guys smash the like button. And if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, subscribe. Definitely appreciate that. But to start off everything, first I want to say that, you know, I have to admit that I was wrong about a few things when I first heard about Helium Mobile. The peer-to-peer -peer network sharing had me a little bit alerted and alarmed. Uh, however, that's not the case, and I'll break down how that works. Um... So I'm coming up about uh, a week and some odd days from my actual full 30 days with Helium Mobile, but I can already tell you guys that the service is outstanding. And I've used various different MVNOs and uh, prepaid carriers and postpaid carriers throughout my time talking about mobile tech. I got to give it to Helium Mobile. They did something really fantastic with what they're doing. Uh, to be quite honest with everybody, it's a blend of um, using T-Mobile's network and using Helium Mobile's network. Helium Mobile does a peer-to-peer -peer share, but it's not like how I thought how Volkfi was, if anyone knows what that was. Literally, it was like one person on Volkfi was like a beacon for like five people around its radius to connect to the network and everything. It's nothing like that. Phones are not connecting to each other. Um, literally, you have the ability to get an indoor hotspot or an outdoor hotspot is what they call it. Technically, the outdoor hotspot is a node that, you know, you connect to your home Wi-Fi and it only allows Helium customers to connect to it. So no laptops, you know, logging in through the connection or anything like that. It's only uh, eSIM and physical SIM from Helium that can connect to those nodes to be able to get services. In my city, there are several people that already have these hotspots deployed. So there are places where I go to and I actually connect to the network that's Helium's only. And it works amazing. As a fallback, if you're in an area where there's not a hotspot from Helium deployed, you're defaulted to the T-Mobile network, which works pretty good in my city as well. So no matter where I go, I'm pretty much covered and with good coverage. Um, so I've never really had an issue at all whatsoever, except for yesterday at my wife's job and <laughs> the reception out there is pretty bad but it's pretty bad for other carriers too like verizon and at&t to name a few um so yeah the, the helium service if you're gonna sign up for it it's 20 dollars a month that gives you unlimited talk text it gives you 30 gigabytes of high speed data and then you're slowed to one megabit per second which is also pretty impressive considering other companies are slowing you to 512 kilobits per second or even 256 kilobits per second. You're still getting a one megabit by one megabit per second uh, speed if you pass your 30 gigs of priority high speed. So still good enough to get on social media and still good enough to watch YouTube videos. May not be able to watch it in 4K, but you're definitely still going to be able to get your entertainment on. And so that's pretty impressive. And it's for 20 bucks. Unless you live in Miami, then you only pay five, like five bucks in Miami. So, I mean, if you're in Miami, you should be taking advantage of this, honestly. Um, so while the service is good, call quality is actually pretty good. I made several phone calls with it and it was clear and just fine. Text messaging, I get all my RCS messaging on Android. If I pop the SIM into an iPhone, I get all my iMessages. Nothing, nothing wrong with the network at all whatsoever. So when I say this, uh, what makes this kind of unique is where the crypto side kind of comes into it. So Helium Mobile, basically, um, it, you have ways of earning crypto by using the services. Um, so the one way you can do it is through their mapping. As Helium is trying to locate areas where they lack coverage for like their own Helium network coverage. Um, if you turn on mapping on your device then uh, you can earn tokens by doing that, just by traveling around, taking the city bus if you have to do that, taking the city train if you have to do that, or driving in your car, or even going for a walk at the park. It is mapping, and you are earning tokens as you're doing it. That is pretty cool. Now, if you're somebody that you know has Helium Mobile and you want to invest in 
you know, deploying hotspots because you can deploy more than one. Um, you can earn tokens that way too, just by high traffic helium customers moving through and passing and connecting to your network, your hotspot. Um, you earn tokens that way. So two ways to earn tokens. And these tokens are transferable. From my knowledge, you are able to um, deposit them into your mobile wallet. Um, I believe you can cash them out for cash. Uh, just basically all the stuff that you can do with crypto, right? Like with Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all those. Uh, you pretty much can do the same thing with uh, with these. However, the other difference to it is, is that technically you can get free phone service with Helium. And what I mean by that is that if you have mapping turned on, just mapping alone, like you're not invested into the hotspot, but just having mapping turned on, you can earn enough money to basically prepay your mobile bill in one, two, or three months in advancements. And from what I was able to do, because I just paid my bill, um, my bill's not even due yet, but I prepaid it with the uh, tokens that I earned from mapping. So it was about almost 5,000 uh, Helium mobile tokens that I used to pay my my bill. Now, for me on an average daily when I'm mapping, I'm earning anywhere between 400, like <clears throat> 453 to 483 uh, tokens a day. And um, that adds up, right? Uh, some people, they're mapping and they earn more on their mapping. So it fluctuates. It depends where you're at. But I can tell you this, though, that um, there are people who have been able to earn enough to prepay one month in advance in just three days of mapping. There are some people that were able to pay three months in advance for just a week of mapping. So that's pretty crazy. Now, I've been able to make enough to prepay one month, and I still have a little bit left over, and I'm still currently actively mapping, um, which... When you claim your rewards, you can use uh, your rewards to pay your phone bill. So if I had made enough to pay three months in advance, which I think is like 19,000 something tokens, um, three months would have been paid. I wouldn't have to worry about a bill. So literally, if you're actively mapping and you're consistently on the move, you can have free, free phone service if you want to use your tokens to pay your bill instead of uh, using your cash. Now, when you prepay ahead, um, if you stop mapping and you don't accumulate anything and there's nothing in your mobile wallet to pay out of your earnings from mapping, then it will default to your payment method, which is your debit or credit card that you filed with Helium. Helium Mobile does allow for eSIM activations. It does allow for you to order a physical SIM. Keep this in mind, though. If you sign up for Helium through the app, there is a section at the bottom once, you know, um, all your information is inputted and you are logged in that you would select to basically get a physical SIM sent to you. So you would have to click on that to order a physical SIM. It's free. They don't charge you for the physical SIM. They send it out to you. It gets to you in like three, three to five business days. But um, yeah, you do have to actually order a physical SIM. Now, if you're going to activate by eSIM, which is the easiest way, totally easy to do. Just, you know, hit eSIM activation and follow the prompts and you're going to be good. But what if you want to switch devices? As some of my fellow content creators that are friends of mine, they tend to switch devices as they're testing devices. If you activate by eSIM, it's pretty easy to do and pretty secure. Literally, you would just contact their support. Their support is done through chat and they do respond to you. They say in 15 minutes, uh, up to 15 minute wait for them to respond to you, but they respond to you a lot quicker than 15 minutes. I've had responses like in under a minute. Um, and literally you just want to let them know that you are switching devices and that you need a new eSIM profile built out for the new device. Give them the IMEI. They will chat back to you. You QR code, scan it and install your eSIM on your new device and you're good to go. So, um, to me, that's a little bit, that's a little bit secure because then, you know, obviously you do have to validate who you are and verify who you are before switching devices, um, uh, which I kind of like that protection instead of it just, you know, and, and maybe one day they might make it as simple as visible does it. Uh, where well, you just log into your app and just go through the eSIM um, switch up process. But for right now, just chatting with them is actually pretty cool. And they're very polite, very nice. They get back to you on time, very responsive. So got to give it to them there. But even on that, the whole app itself is also pretty secure as since it is dealing with crypto, when you first sign up, one of the things that you're definitely going to need is uh, some sort of authenticator app for 2FA. Um, I use Google Authenticator. And um, I think most people use Google Authenticator and really um, you just want to make sure that, you know, you always have access to your Authenticator app so you don't lose access to your Helium mobile app. But 
basically you would sign in with your login credentials and then you would have to use the authenticator code that generates the thing like every every 60 seconds it generates a new code so you would have to use that to log in um you know i would literally say this i was very very sketchy about you know uh helium mobile from the very beginning like i said i thought the peer-to-peer -peer was like the same type of peer-to-peer -peer that Volkfi was trying to do um and it's not it's absolutely nothing like that um just you know the whole peer-to-peer -peer thing is that they're relying on it on their customers to build out the helium network so by you saying that okay you know what i'm gonna set up an outdoor hotspot and an indoor hotspot in my apartment complex or at my house um you are literally just building the network for helium and helium's goal is to be 100 percent independent and drop reliance of t-mobile so t-mobile is not something that they're looking to be 10 15 years from now and you know if they're staying that long in the game um i've watched a couple of interviews from uh you know those involved with helium mobile and trying to get you know grasp the idea of where they're going with this and it looks like it's going in a very good direction they have you know a very good positive outlook on this and the fact that you know carriers do the same thing as what helium mobile does like your mobile uh, service provider does require data and maps out the difference between their mapping and helium's mapping is that helium you earn tokens, you earn rewards for mapping. Your current service provider doesn't pay you at all. <laughs> and, and they still collect that information. Um, so, I mean, that's the big differences there. Um, so I would say, yeah, definitely. Um, in, in my de description, I'll have my referral code. Um, if you guys want to know like how comfortable I am with Helium Mobile, my wife has it. You know, she has it as a secondary line on uh, you know her phone so she has an extra network to use and uh, my youngest daughter is currently using helium mobile and eventually my oldest daughter will switch over to helium mobile uh when if she feels like it but um she'll have to do a number port because she likes her number so but anyways yeah um i gotta say it, it's it's really decent to try uh very very good um as far as customer service goes and then the connection is really awesome especially if t-mobile is strong in your area uh i don't really have anything super bad to say about it so yeah that's pretty much my update on helium mobile um if you stayed all the way through uh hashtag helium hnt to let me know you made it this far in the video again smash that like button to help this video get through the algorithm and get out there for people to see and if you're new to the channel and you just subscribed thank you so much i really appreciate it thanks for checking out this video and i'll talk to you on the next one